Hello friends, this video on structure of atom part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. So, as I told right, when you rub this balloon with the towel, it gets charged. So, the scientific community thought from where the charge is coming, right? From which, how you got a positive charge or negative charge. So, with this uh, uh, thrust in mind to find the reason for the charge, uh, this guy Faraday developed cathode ray tube. Cathode ray tube is a tube which is a vacuum. It has one, uh, two metals here. One is cathode, one is anode, and they connect to a high voltage and they uh, decrease the, the pressure here. So if you see, in 1850s only, this guy Faraday he began study uh, to study the electrical discharge of the tubes, and this tube is called called cathode ray discharge tubes. This is this looks exactly like this, and this made of, this is glass actually. This thing is glass, and there are two metals. They call electrodes, and they are all sealed in this. And the electrical discharge to the gas can be observed only at low pressure and high voltage. So they pump out everything, and they apply high, very high voltage, and that's why this is called cathode ray tube, where you have low pressure and high voltage. And when high voltage is applied, if you see when they are applying the high voltage, current starts flowing in, current starts flowing in, electron starts flowing in from here like this. Current starts flowing in. But you can't see it because you can't see electrons, right? So I'll tell you they had done something to see the electrons. So if you see what they had done is they have coated this guy with the fluorescent coating. With this, if electron comes here, it will hit this guy. The moment it hit this guy, it will blink, it will sparkle and then they can feel that yeah, there is something called electron, right? So that's what they have done and the same thing is used in the television set if you see, the, the old television set, not the one which we have now LCD and LED, but the old CRT, uh, cathode ray tube based sets which we had that had something like this, this is cathode ray, the electron gone, the electron used to come and this used to hit this uh, phosphorus. Uh, sheet you can say and it used to glow right? and every uh, and depending on where it glows it gives different colors so and th that's how you see the television similar thing here this is a very basic concept this is a basic advanced concept but the concept is all the same where you have electron hitting the the phosphorus and it glows so with this he concluded that there is something called electron why? Because when it's applying high voltage, something is flowing in and it's touching in, something is getting generated. And what is that thing? That something is having a negative charge for sure. Why? Because it is going from here to here, right? It, this is positive and this guy is getting attracted towards positive and getting hit. So that means that something has negative charge for sure. And you can see. So this guy named that guy is electron. So we'll see that in the next slide. So if you see when these rays after passing through anode, this strike this zinc sulfide coating, a bright spot is developed. Correct. So if you see the observation, the observation was the cathode rays which you see start from cathode to anode. So if you see this guy, this was my cathode, this is my anode, right? So this guy started from the negative end, sorry, negative end, there's a positive end, and this electron heat moving. That was one. The rays are not visible, if you see, but when it strikes the fluorescent metal we have seen, which we have put it here, the phosphorus thing, it glows. That means the ray is not visible, but it, it you can feel that by making sure that the, that particular ray hits the fluorescent metal. Ray. In the absence of any electrical magnetic field, they travel in straight lines. That's what he has observed. If he applied electrical magnetic field, the behavior of cathode rays are similar to the expected of negatively charged particles. That's what he has seen. If he has applied some electric field, uh, he has seen that uh, the electron, for example, if he has applied electric field like this, right, and this, uh, this, the electron is moving here, but he has seen that electron started moving in this direction. So with, with, by applying electric and magnetic field, he saw a change in behavior of the rays. And that change in behavior of the waves was this telling loud and clear that this ray is negatively charged. This is negatively charged. 
by applying negative i mean by applying electrical and magnetic field this guy was very very sure that the thing which i am seeing I mean, which which is hitting the fluorescent thing and it's an unable see is something which is negative charge and he called that guy as electron and this is what we learn so we'll tell you how it comes also but this is the place where he discovered electron correct also he found that this this uh, characteristic of the cathode rays that is electron now that doesn't depend on the material of the electrode you use anything you use germ, aluminium copper it doesn't matter right that means he told that the electrons property the property of electron of electron is independent of which object you choose that is i'm telling you you take a gold and from gold you take out electron you take silver from silver you take out electron both electrons will be same or you take anything you take hydrogen from there you take it electron all the electron will be same irrespective of which atom you took out that means electrons are electrons but in case of atoms if you see atoms are different the atoms of gold is different from atom of silver is different from atom of hydrogen but when you talk about subatomic particle electron electron is same the characteristic of electron is same it doesn't matter you took out the electron from gold silver iron aluminium doesn't matter it is same right the characteristic of electron is same thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again